Welcome to Alpha and Omega Ministry, your host, Prophet Theophilus. Today we'll be dealing with a subject that is not mentioned as much as should be mentioned, and it's the Messiah. And I'll be coming from St. John, the fourth chapter, verse number 25, and it read, The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming who is called Christ. When he's come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I who speak to you am he. I will read again. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I who speak to you am he. That's my subject. The Messiah came and is coming again. The Messiah came and is coming again. Messiah comes from the, the Hebrew word Messiah, which means the anointed one, the chosen one. The Greek meaning is Christo, or the English Christ. The name Jesus Christ is as Jesus the Messiah. The name, the name Jesus is the same as the Messiah. The biblical time anointed one with oil was a, was a sign that God was consecrating or setting apart that person for a particular role. Thus, as anointed or someone with a special God-ordained purpose, as we see as Jesus in the Bible. So, Jesus the Messiah was a prophesied Messiah, as in Luke 14, 17, 21, and John 14, John 4, 25, and 26. Throughout the New Testament, we see the proof that Jesus is the chosen one. These miracles was written that you may believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John 20 and 31. We also hear testimony that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16 verse 16. The ultimate evidence that Jesus Christ is, is indeed a promise Messiah, the anointed one, is his resurrection from the dead. Acts 10, 39 through 43. Is the witness testimony to his resurrection and the fact that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and dead. Jesus fulfilled the role of the prophet, priest, and king which is a further evidence to his being the Messiah. He is a prophet because he embodied the preaching, the word of God. See John chapter 1, verse 1 through 18, and, and John 14 and 24. And Luke 24, 19, a priest because his death atoned for our sins and reconciled us to the Father. See Hebrew 2, 17 and 4. And Hebrew 4 and 14. And as a king, because after his resurrection, God gave him all authority to him. See John 18, 36, and Ephesians 1, 20 and 23, and Revelation 19 and 16. All other people claim that they are the Messiah are false. Those that say that they are anointed to one or say they are Christ, they are false. Matthew 24, verse 4, say, Jesus answered and said to take heed that no man, including woman, deceive you. And also in Matthew 24, 25, say, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. What I'm saying to you, I've, I've, I've listened to this video from the prophet Theophilus McPherson that 
Jesus Christ is the Messiah. There is no other. When Jesus Christ told those that about to stone him because he declared the truth, they say that before Abraham was, I am. And we know that the word I am come from the beginning when Moses asked, asked God in the burning bush, who shall I say sent me? He said, I am that I am. And it goes deeper than saying to you that if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sin, my friend. You wondering, you pondering, saying that you are waiting for the, the next Messiah. He's not coming. He already came and he's coming back again. When Jesus Christ was, was in, 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 in Acts chapter 1, when the man was gazing up into, into heaven, the angels say, why are y'all men of Galilee gazed up in heaven? The same Jesus whom you saw went up into heaven shall come in like manners. So I'm saying that y'all are looking for the Messiah to come. He's coming, my friend. He's came. And what they did to him, they hung him on the cross for your hang-ups. And he died for your sins, for your sins. But he's coming back again. And as, a, as a many people going to be missed, they're going to miss the rapture. And my friend, if you miss the rapture and you heard the gospel, there's no second chance. The only second chance is for those that have not heard the gospel and decide to hear the gospel and they're going to be killed for the gospel. They're going to be resurrected, having a second chance. But the Messiah came and is coming back again. Jesus Christ came. He came 2,000 years ago. And they still don't believe him. Many times we see pictures of, of a white man, blue eyes, and long hair. That's not Jesus. That's a symbolic of a man that you might think that's Jesus. But Jesus Christ is a spirit. And they that worship him are worshiping in spirit and in truth. But we see that in, in John, the fourth chapter, when the woman was at the well. And the woman say that when the, when the Messiah come, he will show us all things. But Jesus Christ said, well, look here, woman. I that speak unto you am he. And, and Jesus Christ, I know the woman was going down into, into religious purposes, religious cause, religious, all the, he said, listen, uh, Jerusalem is a place where men are to worship. Jesus Christ said, told the woman, woman, believe me, the hour come where the true worth will worship in spirit and in truth. For the father seeks such to worship it. God is a spirit. And so many times that you all think that God is, is an object. God, God is a is a is a, a a horseshoe you carry around. God is a is a symbol of our good luck charm. But God is a spirit, my friend. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks to such to worship him. God is a spirit. God is not Buddha. God is not Confucius. God is not no symbol you sit on your on your, in your living room and you all come there and worshiping to get to get monetary blessing and and material blessing, but but God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So the Messiah. Now let's go back to the Messiah. Now Elijah Muhammad is not Messiah. Russell Light, Russell is not Messiah. Eddie G. White is not the Messiah. Joseph Smith is not Messiah. But Jesus Christ is the Messiah that is coming and is coming again. And I believe that when he's coming, my friend, the Bible say in Revelation that every eye shall see him, even they that pierced him on the side. Let me ask you a question today. If he come today, would you ready to meet him? Are you saved? Are you ready to meet the soon coming king? He's coming, my friend. He's coming back again. And every eye shall see him. Are you going to see him with gladness or are you seeing him with sadness? If you see him with gladness, that you are saved. You are, you are filled with a precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And you are, you are living a saved life. 
Now, many have, have fallen and many have, have sinned. But the Bible says, confess your sin and he righteous forsaken and you shall have mercy. So we all have sinned. We all have a fall, get up, we fall. But if you have the Holy Ghost, you have the seed, and you should not be continually falling in sin. And that's a number one ultimate uh, 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 goal that people are missing. If you have the Holy Ghost, you will, you will not keep on messing around. You will not keep on messing around with your soul. Listen, your soul, your soul is more precious than a five-minute sex fun to take off your clothes and to enjoy Billy or Robert or Susan or Jane. Your life is more precious than going to the club, enjoying the beat of music. Suppose the rapture came and you are drunk with wine or drunk with, with California Cooler or, or the Volca. Think about it. The Messiah came and is coming again. Jesus Christ is the chosen one. He's the anointed one. He was a priest. He's a prophet. And he's the king. And he's, listen, in Matthew, let's go to the fourth, the fourth gospel. In Matthew, he's portrayed as king. In Mark, he's portrayed as being a servant. And in Luke, he's portrayed as being a man. 100% man. And in John, he he professed to be God. Because he said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same in the beginning with God. He, he, the Bible say he created all things, and all things were made by him. But as many as have received him, receive him become the sons of God. So that in Matthew, he was the king. In Mark, he was a servant. You see, you see the, the attribute of his miracles. And in Luke, he was, a, he was a man. He was tired. He was hungry. And he cried. And in John, he was God. So I'm saying, what proof do you need that Jesus Christ is the Messiah? And the reason why some of y'all are, are still being duped and you're going to be deceived by many because you are not reading the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are not reading the 66 books of the Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelation. In the Bible, we see the five, the pinnacle. We see the, we see the, the poetry. We see history. We see major and minor prophet. And we see the gospel. We see the, the Pauline gospel. We see we see the book of Peter. We see the book of, of John and then Revelation, the, the, the prophecy of the seven churches, the bowls and the judgment and the white throne judgment. And still, you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. What does it take, my friend, for you to believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah? Listen, I was speaking to a young lady that was in Africa. And she said that she want to she wanna have proof that Jesus Christ is calling her or Jesus Christ is, is commissioned her to be used by him. But, and I told her that Jesus Christ is not going to give you the same thing as, as Jesus Christ gave Paul. He said, Paul, Paul, why persecute thou me? And, 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 and Paul said, uh, who are you? He said, I'm Jesus whom thou are persecuting. God is not going to give you a, a audible voice as he gave to Paul. But God has given us the word, the word of God, the Bible, B-I-B-L-E, the basic instruction before leaving earth. He gave us 66 books, Route 66. And we can't go wrong, my friend. You know, there are many Bibles that's coming up, but if you stick to the King James Version, then go to the, the, the Message Bible, the NIV Bible, the, the New King James Version Bible, you won't get, go wrong, my friend. Because in, 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 in Psalms 119, verse 11, say, The word if I hid in my heart, that I might not sin 
against thee. Against who? Against God. Against Christ. The Messiah. But my friend, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Until next time, my friend, this is Theophilus McPherson, the host of Revelation of, of Alpha and Omega Ministry. If you need to get contact with, with Theophilus, you can email me at Theophilus McPherson at MSN.com. Until next time, my friend, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is coming back. Are you ready? to meet him. Until next time, peace. God bless you, my friend.